everybody. It's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas and it's experiment day. This is not going to be like a normal pour I do. Um, I had told one of my viewers that I would do a video on the uh, different devices used and effects achieved with different blow dryers on the canvas and how they blow the paint around. So that's what we're going to do today. I have a light coat of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White down and I'm just going to use some basic old paints today in primary colors. I have red, yellow, blue, green, and I do have some black. So I think I'm going to start with doing just a, a practice Dutch pour. This is a hard pour for me to do, but I do want to show you with my blow dryer on high and on low, the difference of how you can move the paint on the canvas. Now my paints are very thin today. They're just Floetrol and water is all that I've used to um, for my pouring medium, Floetrol and water. About two parts of Floetrol, one part paint, and then I did add quite a bit of water. Let me show you with the yellow. It's just very thin. I want the paints to move today pretty easy. Plus, when you do the Dutch pour, you do want your paints to be thin. Okay, so I'm going to put down some white around my colored paint because I'm going to blow it up on top of the colored paint first and then blow it out. And I'm going to have my blow dryer on low to blow the white paint up over the colored paint and then I will turn it up on high to blow the paint around. And so let's see how this goes. And you want your blow dryer on cool, on the cool setting. So I'll go on low and cool. And just blow that paint up over the other paint best I can. Okay, now I'm going to turn it up on high and cool and blow the paint out. Okay, and I'm going to torch this. And let's see what a straw can do for me. I have a bent straw here, plastic straw. And I'll show you how you can um, get different effects on the edges using a straw. Or you can also just blow with your mouth. See, I'm just giving it that feathery effect. Okay. Now I wanted to show you, let's just say there's part of this Dutch pour that I don't like. I just don't like the color that's there and I want to take it out. So what I do is I just take a popsicle stick or a palette knife or whatever you have available and I just scrape that area out. And now what I do is I come back with my base coat color 
and I just lay it back down in that spot. And some artists just, just call this erase, erasing our mistakes. Now you can see this hard line that I have here between the paint and the white. And you want to, I would like to make it look more natural. And to do that, I'm going to just blow some of this colored paint over the white. And that white is quite thick, so I'm also going to thin that out. And I'm going to try that on low and cool. You can see by doing that, it makes it look more natural now. That's just one of the ways that you can change the dynamics or the composition of a Dutch pour or any type of pour is just by removing the paint you don't like or the area you don't like and then putting down your base coat. Okay, so the next pour we're going to do, I'm just going to do a puddle pour. And I'm going to be using this little device. It's called the World's Smallest uh, Leaf Blower. And you can get this on Amazon. So let's just do a puddle pour here. And I'll use the same paints again. Okay, now I'm not going to add any paint around my puddle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to blow straight down and then out with this. You can see it doesn't have as much power as the big blower dryer does but I have a little bit more control here. And I'll just keep blowing as far as I can go with this, see how we can spread that paint out. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tip off and I'm just going to use this little dryer without the tip on it. And let's see the difference here. And I'm going to start again at the middle. And as you can see, it, it just blows out more paint. You can change the dynamics of the middle of your flower. By just using that part and uh, let's try it with me adding just a little bit of white into the middle and see what we can do here maybe that'll be easier for you to see you can just move out more paint that way And again, I really don't care how this is looking today. This is all for experiment to show you the different type devices you can buy and what they all do. Okay, let's just do another layer and I'll put the little wand back on the blow dryer and we'll give it another try. And I'm not, I won't use black this time. 
okay? So I'm putting the wand back on, clicking it in place, blowing down, and then we'll blow out. You can make petals that way. Let's see what it will do on my Dutch pour. The paint is pretty thin here, but it does it does move out the paint a little bit more, and it may bring up some colors underneath that you didn't even know were there. So that's another thing that this little blow dryer can do. Bring up some of the paints underneath. and it'll give it that little veiny look like, like right here. You can see how it's spreading, spreading those cells out there too. And see how it's bringing this blue up here, spreading that out a little better. So you can change the look of your painting with this little blow dryer. Okay, now the third one, the third pour I'm going to do, I'm going to do another Dutch pour here down at the bottom, and I'm going to be using my air compressor this time. This is another device that you can purchase on Amazon. You can tell when you use thin paints also because when you lay them down, they almost bleed a little bit into your base coat. You can see that that rough edge there. That's kind of the paints bleeding into that white. Okay, that should be good. And again, I'm going to add some white and blow it up over the paint. As you normally do with a Dutch pour. Okay, and this time, like I said, I'm going to use my air compressor. And let me show you that. This is how it looks. And I, I like to use my air compressor on the side. My hand is almost parallel with the canvas. And I'm going to try and blow that paint up. And over the colored paint. I don't think that this has as much power as the little leaf blower, but I think it is more of a concentrated stream of air. Okay, so now I'm just going to try and, and blow this out and see what we get. And you need to have your paint very thin again for the Dutch pour. I hope you're seeing this okay. I'm drawing that paint down. And you have a little bit better control. And I will try it on the edges now.
so you can get the idea of that. Okay, now let me try the straw one more time. Again, you can you can um, really change the dynamics of your of the outer part of your Dutch pour or flower or whatever you're painting. See how wispy I can get that to look? You can tell how much paint you have, how much you can actually blow out. You'll see if it's thicker or thinner in certain areas. I will torch all of this now. And I will get you down for a close up. And you can tell me what you think. Again, this was just a little 12 by 12 inch canvas. Experimenting with different devices and the effects they can give you and we'll go in order here today this was our first experiment a dutch pour using my big blow dryer using uh just the low uh the low volume and uh i'm cool and then i did use it on the high volume to to blow out the uh the dutch pour here Okay, this is the second experiment we did. I used the world's smallest leaf blower for this one. Just blew uh, straight down and then out with it. And then I took the little wand end off and played a little more with it. And here is our third Dutch pour where I used my air compressor. And by using the straw, I was able to get wispies like this, just to blow out the edges. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't, that would be great. And I hope you did enjoy this experiment and you did learn something from it. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.